through tunnels, over bridges, and past countless cities, towns, and neighborhoods, CSX operates trains up and down the East Coast, and the rails they ride have to be inspected and maintained to make sure everyone stays safe and there are no disruptions. Coming up, we'll look at the trains and even special boxcars that help CSX get the job done. All that and more is next. Another day and another northbound freight train is headed out of Atlanta, Georgia. There's nothing all that special about this mixed freight. Well, aside from an unusual boxcar that appears to have a laser pointing down at the tracks. The boxcar itself isn't all that remarkable. Well, aside from the giant do not hump warning, but housed inside is some of the latest track inspection technology. Here's a better look at the car, named ATAC-8 by CSX. And ATAC stands for Autonomous Track Assessment Car. Behind what looks like an office-style door on the end are electronics for measuring things like track gauge or the distance between the rails, track profile or vertical change in the rails, alignment, which is horizontal change in the rails, cross level or the difference in elevation between the tops of the rails, and curves are typically super elevated while straight track should be flat and warp, which is the difference in cross-level between two points. Now, the red laser beam shining under the bottom of the car measures track gauge and cross-level. And all the data that's gathered can be sent back wirelessly with a cellular modem as the car rolls along, and if a defect is found, it's put in CSX's computer system for repair. On top, solar panels provide the car with electricity. And a feature you can't see is the concrete that's been added to increase the car's weight. This makes it ride better so the equipment gets a good reading as it goes along the tracks. Of course, these huge letters saying do not hump remind railroaders that this car cannot go through a hump yard where impacts with other cars could damage the sensitive equipment on board. Okay, so there aren't all that many of these autonomous box cars in use just yet, so you may have never seen one, but there is a chance you've seen a manned inspection train. In a past video, I showed you this. It's called a Sperry car, and it also inspects the rails and gathers data. Specifically, Sperry cars have been known for decades for using induction testing to find defects in the steel rails themselves. And they've now advanced to using ultrasonic testing. But CSX also has its own fleet of trains and rail cars that inspect the tracks. This one looks like a short passenger train and is a bit out of place on CSX's Abbeville subdivision, a line that only sees freight traffic. I saw this thing as it waited on a northbound freight train in Tucker, Georgia in December of 2023. <laughs> the train consists of three cars. Up front, a coach labeled for a fallen flag. This is the Southern Pacific Birch Grove. My understanding is that this is used for crew quarters. W00104, CSXT6025, southbound, main track, clear signal, south and Tucker. Coupled to the Birch Grove is the business end of the train, a converted Santa Fe baggage car, now housing a generator, and the track geometry car at the end. 
The rear of this car, TGC2, features theater style seating and a huge window. CSX's other track geometry train also has a car like this, although that huge window was covered up when I saw it in June of 2023. This is CSX's newer track geometry train and the cars are decked out in a Baltimore and Ohio inspired paint scheme. CSX's office car special also features this design and it looks really sharp. The most interesting part of this train, in my opinion, is actually up front. This is an ex-commuter locomotive that belonged to Mark or Maryland Area Rail Commuter. It's an EMD GV40 WH-2. Okay, so my understanding is that these trains are far more sophisticated than the ATAC boxcars. They can do things like ultrasonic roadbed testing and LIDAR mapping. Fortunately, I haven't heard of any plans to get rid of these trains in favor of the new boxcars. All right, this next machine does not need to be pulled by a locomotive. It's self-propelled. This is GMS2. That stands for Gauge Measurement System. This car puts artificial stress on the rails to simulate passing trains, or at least that's what it used to do. That equipment has been removed. So with all the ways CSX can test its track, why do they need these autonomous boxcars? In a promotional video from June 2023, CSX said the ATAC boxcars have several benefits. Of course, since these things are coupled to freight trains, testing can occur more often. CSX said before rolling out the ATAC boxcars, most CSX tracks were tested twice a year. Those tests were done with the manned equipment we just talked about, but that manned equipment has the potential to be disruptive to normal rail traffic. As I mentioned before, all of this equipment, manned or not, can find defects that need to be repaired. But a major function of all this testing is to gather data. That data can be analyzed for trends, then track can be fixed before a defect even arises. CSX said some of the newer boxcars can also test assets along the track. I would think some of these assets would include things like automatic equipment identification or AEI tag readers and defect detectors. According to CSX, the higher the track speeds, the tighter the threshold for maintenance. Technology has definitely come a long way. A century ago, these inspections would have been done by a track walker. There is no doubt, the size and weight of today's freight trains takes a toll on railroad infrastructure and track inspection is now more important than ever. Now I find these inspection vehicles to be pretty interesting, but this is a topic I didn't know much about, so I enlisted the help of a couple friends who provided me with lots of great information. That being said, any mistakes in this video are my own. Okay, so I've actually shown you other track geometry equipment in the past. I did a full video about the famous yellow Sperry cars and the unique looking rolling stock Norfolk Southern uses to test its track. You can find both of those videos in the end screen. Of course, CSX is not the only company using autonomous inspection technology. Other Class 1 railroads across North America have unmanned vehicles of their own. Several Class 1 railroads had hopes of using autonomous technology to reduce the number of visual inspections that must be done weekly, but for now, these type of visual inspections are required by the FRA to continue. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.